Unusual apology from the vice president's office after a Biden staffer escorted a political reporter to a storage closet to wait there during a Florida fundraiser. It appears that Biden's staff did not want the Orlando Sentinel journalist talking with guests before the vice president showed up. Matt Gutman has been investigating just what happened. The incident exploded onto the blogosphere with headlines like Biden locks reporter in a closet, Biden thugs in prison reporter, reporter imprisoned. The venue was a $500 a plate fundraiser for Senator Bill Nelson at the mansion of an Orlando philanthropist, Allen Ginsberg. Vice President Joe Biden was the keynote speaker. I was selected as a pool of reporter to go cover Joe Biden's speech. Scott Powers was hustled past the guests, munching on various uh, appetizers that they were dashing on at the time. Like Capri Easy crostini, bacon deviled eggs, and rosemary flatbread, and led him to a closet. When I went in there and sat down, it was, you know, it was cramped. He thought they were kidding. They weren't, except that they called it a storage room. But Powers did get a bottle of water and a staffer posted outside the door. Why? The protocol is they didn't want me to talk to anybody. He waited and waited, poking his head out a few times. Did you have a little tin can on the bars where you're trying to, were you telling them, maybe let me out or something like that? I, uh, I kept uh, opening the door and peeking out there to see what I could see, and I kept being told, go back inside, we'll let you know when you come out. But he was shooed right back in. I was in there over an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes before they finally said, come on out. Then during Biden's speech, freedom, but it was fleeting. They led me back to the room. Biden's people later apologized, noting that pool reporters are often put in hold rooms, but this was different. Have you ever been put in a closet before? This is my first closet. Powers finally got to work sending this picture of his cell to his editor. And all he was left to enjoy was the sound of a nearby toilet flushing. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Orlando.